I think it will be funny to run for 100 days. And I like to share my current progress. But I'm a developer, I'm a software developer, and I'm very, very lazy. So I write a script which will grab my activities from a web page. We start with the calculator, or calculate the sum, and then I will create a video which I can upload on TikTok or Instagram or what I ever want. So you write again some web scrapping with Python and Selenium, but my motivation is a little bit different from other people. I don't want to write another Instagram bot to scam all the people. I will only show my current result, my current progress on my 100 days. It sounds stupid. It's it's really stupid. You see this is part one of maybe three parts, maybe four, I'm not sure. Today I will only set up the project, and make basic on the command line interface and how I set up it a new project. If you're new to programming and to Python, this will be interesting for you, maybe. But if you have some knowledge of it, uh, maybe you can skip this part. Um, then simply subscribe my channel so you don't miss the second video where I will show some interesting hints how you can use Selenium in a nice uh, way. So um, let us start. This is our main file. Um, I will define two functions, um, say data for getting the data and video for creating the video from the data and then um, call it main which will um, uh, the main function will create a command line interface or, and decide which form this function will be execute and to make it nice we will run it only if it's called this script. So let us quick test these if you have some error. <laughs> um, before I execute this script I will create a virtual environment to separate sorry speaking and writing. Um, I will create a virtual environment to split the package from this project uh, from my global package so I don't get any completely any errors or any any trouble. Then activate so simple Python and main. So no error, nothing you see. Nice. So to make it nice with script so you learn something. Um, it's always a good idea to use the uh, um, default logging module. So import logging and create a logger. So and now if I execute this function logger simple info string run data func. And the same for video. Look at info. Run video function. So, but obviously it will not do anything because this function will not call. So the next step is to create the command line interface. I know there are a lot of other package, third part package to create a command line interface, but I don't want to have to match dependency in a simple project, so I use all the default Python package and uh, there's the uh, arc parser module where you can create a simple command line interface. So we will call this with no help and yeah, we have to add an um, argument where you can decide which function will be called. So you can uh, call it action and we make a choice field. So to make it 
a little bit nicer, we will create a dictionary from our function. So func funs will be in dictionary where we have the keys will be data, sorry, data, data, and the same for the video function for the video. And now we can make for the choice field simple functions point keys. So this will be a return a list of these keys and so we can use these for choice. So to execute these path arguments, so this will be. And if I now execute the script, it will say, oh, error, because I have to choose between data or video. If I now use data, no error, but no log information because the default logger is set to in lower level than information. So there are two things I will fix. First, I will, if I give no arguments, I will have a help message print. And the second one is I will have to get the logger information I have. So first we can simply do by use mx and then the question mark. So this allowed us to call this function without any um, argument for action. And now we have, now we really know, now we will call this function. I don't do this. So get ask the action and if it not find this action we will use uh, parser as a friend how it is print help I will get this function and then I will so I will return this. I will return the function data or video or print head, and then I have to call them so I get really call them. So now, if I execute this script without any argument, I will see the head message, and if I execute it with data, anything, <laughs> uh, I will see nothing. So now I have make now I have to make this um, locking or the locker. Now have make the locker work. So we will add a second uh, argument, and this will be the verbosity. So you can define verbose, but you can define the level you want to have. So action will be count. So now you can call this function with the both of the ions, one or two. So I think one will be info and two will be um, debug. So we need um, another function to define the locking. So set up logger. There I have to define the um, level and yeah, that's enough. So we will get the root locker and we define our levels. This will be a list um, like logging, running, logging, info, and logging debug. Now we will use uh, level will we get how will I do this? Levels and we will get
Here we can simply define as a default, we will define zero. And here we simply choose level easy as this, I hope. Set level level. And uh, let me copy this from there. This is our um, simple formatting and simple um, add this. I don't want to reload. So now let us try this. Nothing. Nothing. Obviously nothing because I don't have call this function. Now I will call this function. And it will run info and we can test if it always run debug under the function debug. So this will call um, the level info and level debug and only one we will only call the function info and effect. Oh sorry count. We make it simple. So if it's none or zero. So yeah, that was our basic setup. Not that complicated. Uh, I tried to make it really short, so it's not that big, but I think, yeah, it looked quite well. Um, the next step is to write the function for getting the real data. This was the first part. Again, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the second part. Yeah, have a nice day. And if you're really interested in the 100 days running, you can follow my TikTok. Link is in the description.